watching Notes and Nine. Hello, and welcome to Notes and Nine. I'm David Leedy. Episode 148, Getting X Pages to Talk to Your Phone. There's an app for that. Okay, th this is by far my, the favorite slide I ever get to put up on Notes and Nine. Uh, I love when I get to announce a new contributor. And, and I had to double check this guy. I, I did mess it up once. I called somebody a new contributor uh, who, who wasn't because I screwed up. Um, but I did have to double check this one because I mentioned this guy on the show several times. And, and I'm excited that uh, I finally did get him on. Um, his name is none other than Oliver Buse. And I hope I pronounced that right. If not, I'm sure he'll give me a phonetical spelling like Brad did. Um, so anyway, so Oliver's a, a great X Pages developer. Oh my gosh, he he's great at X Pages. He he's just particularly does a lot with Bootstrap, um, and he asks a lot of questions on Stack Overflow on uh, X Pages and Bootstrap. And quite honestly, some of those questions are my questions. Uh, and I do appreciate that, Oliver. I I really do. Uh, he does a lot with music production on the side. So he's kind of a man of many talents. And he's uh, on Twitter at Zeromancer1972. I'm not sure what a Zeromancer is. It sounds familiar, but uh, I think it's a geek thing that I should know, and it's just escaping me right now. Um, but there's, he's got a couple websites here. Um, and I also put up the link to his OpenNTF. He's, he's done a lot with OpenNTF, and I love seeing that um, and everything. So that, that, that is really exciting that, that gets someone... Uh, on the show that does a lot of contributing back to the community. I, I, I always do like to see that. Um, so uh, I don't have too much of an intro because uh, Oliver does such a great job with it. Um, but what he's going to talk about today is is a kind of a way to talk to an app you can load on your phone to basically send direct messages to your phone, um, you know, in, in a way. And I believe this works on, on iPhone as well as, as Android. So with all that being said, let's go to uh, the demo. Hello there. This is Oliver Busse. In this video, I want to show you how I integrated the push over notification service into a simple XPages application. This video is about what is push over and how to integrate it in your XPages application um, to get notifications on your mobile devices and desktop clients. Pushover in general is a free of charge cloud web service that sends notifications to your mobile devices or your desktop. As I said, the usage is free. Um, you can read about the pricing model when you want to use it in a more ambitious way on their website. The notification service itself is free for everyone um, but if you want to install and use uh, any client app for example on your mobile device um, this client app has to be purchased after some days I, I think it was a week um, after I installed the app from the App Store in my case it was the uh, Android version and the application uh, told me now I'm now I have to be purchased um, to continue to work um, the price varies uh, from your uh, country where you have to bill in my case um, the Android application was uh, 360 euros so um, I don't think that's that's too much um, because you can use this uh, purchased uh, app on up to 10 mobile devices um, at the same time. So this is the way um, how they accomplish their uh, income. Um, the pushover service itself it's, it's, uh, is just a simple REST API brought to you and uh, used uh, with a web service. Um, you want to have a look at the API on their web page. I'll show that later. And you just have to create a simple HTTP post request to uh, a special URL um, containing some uh, fields with data. So it's very simple to integrate. And that's this video about how to integrate that into your XPages uh, application. Um, there's no, nothing special about it. 
I just created a Java class uh, that utilizes the uh, Apache uh, HTTP client to create such a post request. And um, yeah, that's all. Um, it's not a plugin I created here, it's just a Java class um, you can import uh, or copy and paste into your XPages application besides the needed uh, Java archive files um, uh, for the HTTP client. And uh, at this time, this is just the first start. Um, I uh, created that class uh, with only some of, uh, of the fields that you can use uh, to uh, post your HTTP, uh, HTTP, HTTP post request to that uh, API. Um, and the next one is uh, a step by step uh, how to uh, getting started with that service. First, you have to register at the website of uh, Pushover. Looks like this. Uh, it's HTTPS pushover.net. <coughs> you can have uh, the download links uh, for your uh, mobile applications and stuff and some information. It's very simple uh, and neat and you may want to have a look at the API documentation. Um, there is um, some, some, some information missing on uh, how uh, this HTTP POST request uh, has to be built. I uh, first started with a JSON request, uh, content type JSON, but that was wrong. It's just in, uh, a simple POST request like uh, from uh, any other web formula. Um, just fields, uh, key and value pairs, um, not JSON formatted. Um, and this is the short version of the API. The simple fields and the information that has to be that have to be posted against that URL. The URL is shown here. Um, and as this URL ends with uh, .json, uh, I first made the mistake to format that uh, post request uh, in JSON. But you don't have to. Just a simple post request. You can use only uh, uh, e even a simple web form to create that. Um, but in my application and in my Java class, I, uh, of course, I don't use a form to uh, cast that post request. I want to create the request in the backend um, within the Java class um, and triggered by, in this case, a button. So what I used in my demo application is the Apache HTTP client. You can download it for free. It's an Apache license, of course, and um, import it in your application. So if I return to the step-by-step -step how to, after registering at Pushover, log in and read uh, everything about it, download the uh, Apache Commons HTTP client, and import the JAWS into your project. The JAWS are shown here. Um, these are uh, in the package you download uh, from the Apache website. Um, import all of them into your JAWS uh, design container. Next step is to copy the pushover class that I created into your project. And this class is the one that I want to show you a little bit closer. So it's nothing special about it, um, some private fields. Um, the pushover API requires uh, a minimum of uh, three uh, fields to be set in that HTTP POST request. The first one is the so-called user token. Um, after you log in, after registering to the pushover service, um, you will uh, get an email with uh, no notification and you have to click on a link to, to, uh, to, con to confirm your registration and stuff. Um, um, but uh, after logging in, you um, see, a, see a page where the user token is displayed. Second one is the so-called app token, the application token. Um, the application token works as follows. Um, uh, as a registered user, um, you have on your homepage um, after login, 
you have uh, the possibility to register an application uh, because push over uh, doesn't uh, send uh, to every device and from every uh, application you can differ from application to application which notification to which device will be sent this is very comfortable so first step is to register your application um, the registration um, is really simple um, you, you don't uh, have your application uh, hosted on a web server or something it's just uh, um, one item in their database that um, um, says okay this application called so and so um, uses this token and the application uh, has got a name and the name that you define uh, when registering it is uh, displayed in your mobile application on your mobile device um, just to show you which application sent that notification nothing more and the third parameter you have to define is the message the message is uh, some free text and you can uh, put in what you want um, I will show you that in my demo application uh, my class contains another field and of course a method uh, to define uh, that value um, it's called a, a URL um, the API allows you to send a URL information and uh, the URL is uh, displayed in that mobile application um, and it is clickable and if you click on it um, then you will be directed to a website or the application or that notes document even that um, if you compute the URL right um, that uh, created that notification also very cool um, here is a static um, push over URL where the HTTP post request goes to and a constructor of course if you want to use it and an empty constructor and of course some methods at the bottom to get and set the fields and there's also a method called send and this is what you want to run after setting and defining the minimum of three fields in that case or even the URL and this does nothing else than, uh, in, uh, cr than creating a new HTTP client from the Apache Commons set some basic properties here in the configuration of that client and in this case um, it, it is um, defining the default timeout uh, for the client um, uh, I uh, put it up to five seconds uh, if the service is uh, overloaded it may it may last longer than the default value of uh, I think two seconds is uh, the default for that HTTP client um, the URL which is defined here at the top is set and um, this is a part where the name value pairs are set for that post re uh, request um, just have a look at the name of that name value pairs uh, each um, these are taken directly from the API description of the website for example you got the parameter token user and message and you have some additional parameters that are optional you can choose a device you can even register the device where to send the notification um, every device that installs the mobile application is automatically stored uh, in your user profile as a valid device and that device can be named uh, individually but uh, only once if you if uh, the application um, stores your device name uh, then this name is hard-coded okay um, I don't use this in this uh, really basic example here finally I uh, created the post and execute them and I also uh, track the response of the service um, though I don't um, work with it here but you of course can return the response in, a, in, in, your, in your class you can customize it and, and uh, show it to the user on your X page or something 
and um, yeah that's all you need I have created a simple demo application of course you can download it uh, I, I will show you where you can download um, this application is based on my um, bootstrap 3 template um, this application uses the bootstrap for x pages plugin and uh, of course the extension library so it's created uh, in Domino 9 and as you can see I'm using bootstrap uh, and the open NTF stuff um, but not in the <laughs> push over uh, stuff uh, but generally this template uses the open NTF API and the extension library okay um, don't want to talk uh, about the template itself. It uh, consists of uh, some X pages, um, the index, the profile, and the login page. Um, and I want to show you the demo application. This is what it looks like. This is the index page, the starting page. And there I've created two uh, input fields to define a message and a custom URL. Uh, but first of all, if you want to use this application to play around, um, a user have to log in to reach the setup area, the profile. Um, the profile is um, has to be filled with the user token from you. Please don't use this one. <laughs> and the application token from the registering page of your demo application here. Um, <clears throat> I set it up here already to work and now I want to uh, create a notification on my mobile device and I want to of course use a custom URL and this button creates a new pushover object and sets some values from the both components uh, to their corresponding uh, methods in the Java class, the message and the URL, and sends the notification to the pushover service. Show you that button. This is the link of the button, and there is an event, and this is the code. It says only notify. Um, if you Great, forgot the evolution. Um, it says notify. This method is taken from a script library I put in the demo. Also, it's a function called notify, and there you can see the see how it works. I create a new pushover object. I search for the profile document in that demo database. Uh, get the document. Blah, 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 read that two strings from the items, uh, the profile user token, the profile app token and read the two components from the index page um, as the two fields are bound to a session scope variable. I just uh, read that scope variable here and finally say send that stuff to push over. I finish that and wait a second. I hope you can you could hear that now I created uh, a screenshot two screenshots from my mobile device um, this is how the application on your mobile uh, is shown it's just a, uh, it's just a list view and this is a detailed um, information if you click on an entry in the application and there you can see the message uh, just sent Hello world and the link. This, the link is clickable and the default browser runs and stuff. And this is how it works. Um, I really hope you you, you you heard the sound. Okay, that's it. Um, please just don't use my uh, API key and the user token. Um, um, the demo application is. Um, now updated to not show this um, this uh, tokens uh, directly because uh, now there uh, there are password fields. Um, I just replicated it, but um, it's still 
<laughs> readable in the demo. But I don't care. I know you won't do any harm to me. Okay, there are some resources I want to show also. Of course, the pushover website. Visit it, read about it, um, how to program it, and uh, how to use it. Uh, of course, the URL to the Apache HTTP client for the download of the JAWS. My website, you're welcome to comment and uh, contact me. Um, and even on Twitter, I, for, I forgot to post my Twitter here. I do that, streaming that live. And the last but not least link is to my GitHub repository, where I just uh, created that demo application for you to download. Um, I don't think that I will publish it on OpenMTF as it's so simple. Um, and the 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 um, the uh, place for that testing environment is not OpenNTF. OpenNTF uh, de deserves applications, and this is not an application. This is just a playground for that topic of pushover. So clone it to your desktop and create a new Nodes application from it. I know you can do it if you have problems with it or with any other of the shown demonstration. Feel free to contact me. Always happy to communicate. And yeah, thanks for watching and have fun with Push Over. And that's the demo. I hope you enjoyed it. I was really happy to get Oliver back on and, and hope he comes back. And hopefully I'll get the video demo published sooner than, than I did this one. So sorry if there's any delays in that. And if you have any questions for me, uh, here's my information and I thank you for your time.